So guys, so here's how I'm getting four to eight new clients every single month for my content agency with the Upwork funnel. This works for other services too, like lead gen, copywriting, Facebook ads. Every single client that I have comes from Upwork, okay? They came from Upwork and lately I've been doing around 15K a month with my agency. Now, before you go ahead and say like, uh, Upwork only has low quality clients, this is wrong. So whoever's giving you this advice uh, probably doesn't work on Upwork regularly like I have been doing for the past two years or they just didn't know how to properly qualify leads. Now, of course, a lot of clients that are on Upwork and on the platform, they look for like the cheapest labor possible, but I have clients who have millions of followers. One client is a celebrity and I have clients who are paying me a premium and they're okay with paying me a premium rate for a premium service. With that being said though, as much as I do love Upwork, I would not recommend it for people who are above 10K a month to 15K a month mark because at that point, I think you should probably be just building your personal brand, focusing on social media content, and also you have enough profits to invest into paid advertising. But if you're below 10k a month i see it as the easiest way for client acquisition for beginners who are trying to go from zero to 10k a month it's exactly what i did if you follow the entire system that i'm going to be showing you in this video and it's especially for beginners who hate outreach and they procrastinate on outreach because of how boring it is and how long it takes to actually get a client i was extremely intimidated by the sales process when i first started because with code outreach if you can even get someone on a meeting with you they're usually very very skeptical about who you are and if you're even a reliable service Service provider on top of that a lot of times you have to convince them that your service is something that they should try now with upwork prospects already are interested in the service that you provide it's why they're on upwork in the first place so 50 percent of the convincing is already done honestly more than 50 percent is done because half the clients that i get i haven't even once gotten on a sales call with them i close the deals just through messaging them on upwork and i can put some screenshots for proof here but for the clients that i do get on a meeting with they're super easy to talk to it's less of a sales call and it's more of just a conversation to make sure that i'm not a bot that i'm like a real person and even though upwork keeps increasing the cost of connects and more competitors join up Work, the system still works. Just last month, I was able to close six new clients. Here's a screenshot for more proof. I have plenty more proof in all the videos that I posted on this YouTube channel so far talking about Upwork. Okay, so before I took Upwork seriously, I was doing the same thing as everybody else, okay? I was doing uh, cold outreach, cold DMs, cold emails. I even did cold door knocking to local businesses and uh, I tried cold calling as well. Here's the thing though, all of those work, they do. But the reason that I doubled down on Upwork was because all the reasons I just mentioned earlier. I hated sales calls, I hated cold outreach, it was just annoying, and Upwork was just way easier and much smoother process. Now I'm gonna show you an overview of the Upwork funnel, and then I'm gonna dive into each section. So we have four phases. Phase one is gonna be profile and portfolio setup. Phase two is outreach and proposals. Phase three is nurturing the leads and taking sales calls. And phase four is service delivery and lifetime value per client. Now for the details, we'll start from the top, okay? So phase one, profile and portfolio setup. If you do not execute this properly, everything else in the funnel will fall apart and you're just gonna end up wasting your money on connects, probably ending up working with some low quality clients as well. So here's everything I've done to optimize my profile. Profile picture, okay, look normal. That's it. <laughs> like, don't look like you're in a jail mugshot. Don't wear an undershirt uh, and crack a little smirk. You know, you don't have to do full on teeth, full on smile if you don't want to, but just don't make a face like you're trying to hurt them and you're trying to intimidate them, right? Like, don't, don't be like this. And also just don't look lost. I've seen a few profile pictures where someone just looks lost. They're like, so like, you know, don't be angry. Don't be lost. I feel ridiculous making these faces, man. But either way, look, just look normal is basically kind of what I'm saying. And, and wear like a shirt where you get, if you want to wear a t-shirt, it's fine. If you want to wear like a business shirt, that's completely fine too. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with, just look normal. Okay, now to the service slash niche. You want to choose one service to specialize in. Video editing, Facebook ads, whatever. But do not be too picky when it comes to the niche. Because on Upwork, you have to be a bit flexible, especially if you're a beginner. For example, if you're a video editor who only wants to work with podcast editing, you have to accept expand to editing short form content, talking head videos or vlogs, just to name a few. And I say this because there are limited projects on Upwork. So it's better to cast a wide net. And then once you stack some of these clients, once you have decent profits, you want to invest some of these profits into hiring virtual assistants to either help you with the service delivery, or you can hire someone to help you with cold outreach. Like I said earlier, especially if you're at the 10 K to 15 K a month mark, it's time to aggressively pour profits into exploring other outreach methods so that you can scale your agency with a productized service, 
rather than casting a wide net on Upwork, right? It just makes service delivery way easier for you as you scale. But in the beginning phase, you gotta just get that profit first, get those clients, get those testimonials, and get that confidence as well in your ability to run a business, uh, get leads, talk to people, service these clients happily. Now for the profile header, just simply state what you do, okay? So it could be something like video editor for podcasts, short form, and vlogs. In the profile description, what you wanna do is write a few sentences just explaining your accomplishments, what niches you work with, what tools you can use, and if it's relevant, feel free to provide some backstory as to how you ended up freelancing on Upwork. But don't just say something like, hey, I got fired from my job, so here I am freelancing now, ha ha. No, that, that's, you know, just do something that's like relevant if it leads up to like how you stacked your skills or like how you ended up on Upwork, if it makes sense. Testimonials, now for this section, it's not the same as the Upwork reviews, okay? Anyone that you've worked with in the past, ask them to leave a testimonial for you, okay? So like Upwork reviews, you have to start a contract through Upwork and that's the only way they're gonna be able to leave a review on your profile. But for the testimonials, you can send this to anybody that you've worked with in the past and just ask them to leave a right, nice review. But instead of just letting them know and letting them write whatever they want, I would give them a few questions that they can address in the testimonial. Maybe some things like, uh, what did you like the most about working with me? How well did I reach deadlines? How was my communication? It's important that these testimonials address common objections and pain points that most people on Upwork usually have when they're when they're trying to hire someone. Now for the employment history, if it's relevant, you know, go ahead and add it. If you're doing video editing and you were working for a video editing studio or like even for your high school or something, if you were like the main video editor for the news, high school news, I don't know, anything that is relevant, go ahead and add it there. Uh, don't add that you like worked at McDonald's or Chipotle because it literally has nothing to do with your service unless you're like a restaurant marketer or something. But even then, I, I don't see how that's relevant. Um, now your profile hourly rate, I'm not gonna tell you what to put here, but if you have no reviews, then just set it to the low end of the market. And for portfolio setup, choose the best work that you have, your best pieces of work, and add it to the portfolio section of your Upwork profile. If you don't have any previous work, there are tons of ways that you can create a mock portfolio, like making video editing samples, uh, designing mock Facebook ads and Facebook ad copy, or writing mock newsletters. Now, for the profile VSLs, okay? This is extremely important because it's gonna set you apart from everybody else, all the other freelancers that are applying to these jobs. VSL means video sales letter, okay? And it should not be any more than like six minutes. I would say try to keep it between three to six minutes of you just introducing yourself, your accomplishments, uh, as well as explaining the process behind what makes you good at the service that you provide. By the way, I can help you with all this inside my free Discord group, Agency Go. I got a hat so you know it's legit, where I host weekly Zoom calls. Just shoot me a DM on Instagram at Akash Convert. I'll give you access. I don't have any appointment setters managing my DMs. It's just me. So you'll get a response personally from me. Now it's time for phase two, okay? Outreach and proposals. Let's start with the Connects budget, okay? There is a free method, but it is against their terms of service, so I won't recommend it. However, I do recommend setting aside at least $13 per day for this, which equals around 400 bucks a month. Go get a pizza job part-time, drive Uber part-time, wash dishes for a local restaurant on the weekends. All you need to set aside is an extra $100 per week. If you live in America, Canada, UK, or Australia, and you are a healthy individual, you know maybe you'll have to sell some of your clothes or downgrade your living situation slightly, but you can make this work pretty easily. Trust me, this is the fastest way to consistently get clients as a beginner who hates cold outreach. So figure it out. Now for the cover letter setup, make sure the first lines are personalized and the rest of the cover letter can be pretty much copy and paste uh, like a template where you emphasize your portfolio pieces that are closely related to what they're looking for, what they need help with. Now the next thing is green flag projects. Uh, typically these are just projects that are like in the USA, uh, UK, Australia, Canada. You want to work directly with the client as well. So you don't want to work with agencies. There's a, you know some nuance to that if the, if the agency is like directly tied to some like huge celebrity or some really, really big portfolio client, which are you know, just be really awesome for you to say like, yo, you've edited videos that have been published by this giant, you know, celebrity or someone, then maybe that can work out. For the most part, you wanna work directly with the clients. Also, you wanna make sure that your skill sets match what they're looking for. And one way you can go above and beyond, you could create a custom audit for them, or you could record a Loom video introducing yourself, showing their job listing on Upwork, and then also showing them relevant portfolio pieces. I highly, highly recommend this if you're a beginner. It's what I did to stand out when I had no profile reviews. Another thing is consistency and KPI tracking, okay? so. The more consistent you are, the faster you will get results. KPI just stands for key performance indicators, okay? It's really not that complicated. It's just what are the metrics that we wanna pay attention to so that we know we're staying consistent and so we know that we have proof of concept and this is working. Now, the most important metrics to track as a beginner are the number of outreach you're sending. Should be sending probably 10 to 15 per day with the $100 a week budget that I mentioned. I also have a free tracker template in my Discord. It's the exact same one that I'm using right now. So if you join, then you get that too. Now, here's a big bonus, okay? What you can do here is offer a 
heavily discounted sample. If you're not consistently getting clients, let go of your ego and, and edit a video for like five bucks or, or write a newsletter for like five bucks. If you're doing lead gen or Facebook ads, you can discount the first few leads or you can do just a pay per results kind of deal. And here's the thing, even if they don't end up working with you, at least now you have a review on your Upwork profile. If you follow these steps properly, you should be getting two to five responses per week. And now that you have responses from interested prospects, it's time to move on to phase three, which is nurturing leads and taking the sales calls. Respond with speed. All right, the faster that you respond, the more likely they are to be your clients. Make sure that you have your phone notifications on so that no matter where you are or what time it is, you can send a reply. Your messages should show how excited you are to have this opportunity to work with them. Don't type like a robot or someone who doesn't care. If you need help, just copy and paste it into ChatGPT with the prompt. Rewrite this so it comes off as friendly and excited, okay? So consider also providing a free audit or a sample piece to showcase your expertise. This is like if you decided not to do it in the first phase or maybe you could give them an additional one or maybe they ignored that so you want to just uh, reiterate like, hey, just to reiterate, like I can give you this free sample piece or this heavily discounted sample piece uh, just to, like I said, showcase your expertise and that you are passionate about working with them. Uh, what you can do is also you can offer a free audit and schedule a Zoom call to review it together with them. So also at the same time, they can provide feedback and uh, you can answer any objections that they may have uh, of working with you while you're doing that meeting and while you're reviewing that audit with them. Regardless of the free audit or sample piece, schedule a Zoom call with them as soon as possible. Okay, don't schedule it for next week or two weeks out. They're going to hire someone else by then or lose interest. Ideally within 72 hours, you should be meeting with them. The sooner the better. Even same day meetings, if it fits in your schedule and their schedule. Just remember 10 minutes before the meeting, write down the most important questions that you have for them so that when you go in, you're going in prepared, okay? Know their name as well as so do a little bit of research. Know their name, know their niche, uh, any recent success that they have. Uh, it really makes you stand out as a candidate if you do this. Lastly, confirm their budget and expected deliverables. Once confirmed, go ahead and tell them to start the contract on Upwork and provide them with an estimated deadline for the first deliverable. Now, finally, we are at phase four. This is going to be service delivery and lifetime value. Congrats if you made it this far, you got a client. So as long as you do what they're paying you to do, you will get a good review and you will get paid. Uh, a few tips here, just make sure that you always reach deadlines, respond to their messages quickly. And if for some reason you screw up, then you know, consider just giving them a fat discount on the project or just a entire refund so they don't leave a bad review on your profile. And to increase client lifetime value, it's really just as simple as asking them for more work, like for video editing especially. I know it can fluctuate a lot. So you just have to be in front of them and ask them for more work. Like, hey, my schedule is kind of open this week. Like, do you have anything that you're working on that I can edit for you? As long as you do the job properly, a lot of clients don't want to spend time testing different service providers. So they'll continuously give you more work. If you follow this system consistently with the proper profile, cover letter, VSL, portfolio setup, you should be closing a minimum of two to three new clients per month as a complete beginner with zero reviews. And once you have more reviews and once everything is just kind of more optimized, you should be closing probably around like four to eight clients every month, just like I'm doing right now. Not even including the referrals that you're getting from your existing clients. If you want my help with this, go ahead and DM me on Instagram. I can work with you privately one-on-one -on -one where I'll structure your video sales letter for you. I'll tell you exactly how to optimize your profile, your cover letter, portfolio, everything that you need to build this system for yourself and start getting clients consistently. See you in the next video.